For the past 24 hours, this Kai Sanat situation has been the talk of the internet. And if you don't know, I'm going to give you a full breakdown and timeline of everything. It was New Year's Eve, and there's the possibility of an unfortunate circumstance taking place that involves the R word. Not Kai Sanat directly, it was at his place, but it was a woman and a friend of his. Now, before reading and getting into all of this, what we're dealing with, like I said, is the R word. So if that's something that makes you uncomfortable, this may not be the video for you and I understand but yeah we're gonna get into some serious allegations and if you do enjoy my content or analysis maybe give me a subscribe but I'm not really here to promote my channel on a video like this let's just get into it so the Twitter account I'm just gonna call her Jovi to make it easy so she tweeted yesterday on January 1st, 2023, I was R-word at a party by a complete stranger. I was invited to this party by someone I thought to be a friend. I asked for help and it's not going anywhere, so I decided to take it to social media. His name is, sorry if I mispronounced this, Diguay Sack. And then she goes, one, I was invited by Kai Sanat. When I decided to leave, he told me I'd be safer upstairs since I was drunk and nobody would bother me. However, after I fell asleep, since I thought I was safe due to there being security and Kai's confirmation. Two, however, I wasn't safe. Dijois Sack walked into the room where I was asleep and brutally r word me to the point where I bled. When I woke up to see him still on top of me, I called him out as a R-wordist and he told me that I was in his bed and that's why he did what he did. Three, I was in shock. I called and texted my friend, in quote, who invited, but I got no answer. And I was told by the R word is that he left, which I found out later to be a lie. He told me he can just keep it a secret and pretend nothing happened, but I was already traumatized by then. Four, I asked him if he at least used protection, which he then showed me a dirty condom and said, yes, a skin's condom. Now I have to take medication for a month to make sure I don't catch any STDs. As you all know, those condoms only protect you from unwanted pregnancies and not STDs. Five, I spent all day crying and processing what happened to me instead of enjoying my vacation in New York. At nighttime, I had dinner reservations, but I went to the emergency room instead as I was still in pain from what had happened to me. Six, I described what the person looked like to my friend who invited me, and he said he didn't know the person. However, after digging for a day and a half, I found the person's Instagram, and they have been friends for years. On the screen, I'm going to show you the pictures of them together, and it was from 2019. Seven, it's been five days since the incident and I haven't been able to sleep or eat properly. I haven't been able to socialize or go to work. This is all I think about 24-7. I'm not looking for attention. All I want is the justice I deserve. I want to stop him from hurting anyone else. So that thread was a lot. Like I said, if that's what really transpired, that man needs to be in prison for a long time. Despicable, horrible human being. And what the internet has been talking about and being upset is for Kai Sanat to act like he didn't know this person but then also you only follow 122 people on Instagram and he happens to be one of those people so you already look dumb in that instance to try and deny that so the whole internet was dragging Kai Sanat saying he's canceled he's defending the R word he's playing both sides Jovi feels like he's not being a real friend so you know eventually he's gonna have to address this and he addressed this on stream last night obviously a stream goes on for hours but I just want to give you the the main highlight of him addressing the situation. So let's go with that. Legit, I'm telling y'all what it is. I know him. So I'm t I went to him immediately. I said, yo, bro, what the fuck you got going on? What am I hearing right now, bro? You feel me? What am I hearing right now about shit that's going on? Chat. As soon as he heard her side of the story, I'm representing her, bro. She's hurt. She's hurt, bro. I don't play that. I went I went to her to him. I said her story. Complete shock. He was in complete shock. He don't know. I'm telling you my perspective. He was so confused on the things that she said. Legitimately confused on the things that she said. Everything like that, right? So, as the one in between all this shit, I took a step back. I said, yo, Ka, somebody's, there's two sides of the stories now, Ka. Who are you gonna handle it with? The police. Okay? When she when she um she asked for um in a screenshot, she asked for her name, she asked for his name automatically. I told my team, I said, yo, team, here's his name. 
Give it to her. That is the reason why she got it in the first place. Okay? That is the reason why she got it in the first place. And let me tell y'all something right now. All my viewers, do not go to her profile and do not harass this young lady, bro. Do not. Until facts are proved, until shit is shit, bro, like, and shit is going on and the police are handling this. And this is why I didn't want to come to the internet, bro. So after taking everything in and analyzing all of this, I feel like Kai Sinat's definitely showing his age in this. Like he is only 21 and I'm not trying to defend that, but I just feel like he doesn't have the experience to know how to deal with this matter. And when I say this, it's like part of you, you know, like if you grew up or came up with someone, you want the best for them. But at the end of the day, you also need to surround yourself with people that aren't pieces of shit that or would do something like that. So for Kai to play Play both sides it was not the angle he needed to take and yes I know in the stream he did do his best and said he went to the police and gave the name but we also saw that he at one time was denying knowing this person so he's been everywhere in this case and situation and let this be a lesson if you're hanging around people that are doing foul or fucked up shit do not let those people bring you down because at the end of the day it happened at your place you told this girl she would be safe unfortunately it turned out she wasn't so it's just a bad look on your part. We all just got to surround ourselves with better people. I don't care if you know someone 10 plus years. If they have scummy habits, you need to pay attention. And if this happens to be the only the first time of it, then yes, this was just a very unfortunate circumstance for Kai. But usually when the R word person is there, there's a lot of signs for people to know. And a lot of people choose to ignore it because it's their homeboy. And they choose to ignore it until it's too late. So is this a situation where I think Kai needs to be canceled completely? I don't, but he needs to grow and learn from this. He needs to separate himself from that guy. If he continues to play middle ground, then I feel like he will. But his initial response was trying to deny it. Then he tried to own up to it. If he did talk and reach out to the police, that's better than what a lot of people do in these circumstances. So I will give him credit for that. But either way, for someone of your stature, you don't need this bad publicity. You need to surround yourself with better people going forward, Kai. And also my thoughts and prayers go out to the victim, Jovi, because no one deserves to go through that. I'm really sorry you have to go on the internet and now everyone knows your story. I hope you get the justice, peace, and clarity that you deserve. But you guys let me know, after all of the information and stuff that's been presented, what's your take on it? Do you feel like Kai's playing both sides? Do you feel he deserves to be canceled? Do you feel this happen or do you want to play it out and see? How do you guys feel? But as for me, what does Jovi gain from attacking this guy? It's not like the guy that she was pursuing is famous or someone we know. If she was really out for an agenda to ruin someone, she would be going after someone else. So I do feel like that guy is the culprit. But as you know, if Chris Case is going to give us hip hop or pop culture news when it's there, that's why you make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell for all my videos so you can like and participate in the comment section. This Chris Cadence, I'm out. This motherfucker.